Hey, I got a question for you. What is the best software to build an online course? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share that with you and my thoughts on a variety of some of the biggest name brands out there. Hey, how are you guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Bond Entrepreneur. And like I just said, we are going to be comparing some of the titans in the course building world. Now, this doesn't roll off the tongue very well because it's a, something I do all the time, but it's just very weird to say like the course building world or like the course creation world. Because technically you're creating the course. These softwares just give you a home, a little, you know, a little place for you to just rest your, your content and ultimately sell it to people. So what is the best solution? What is the right solution for you? What have I learned? I've spent a numerous amount of hours with all of these platforms. I've taken courses on all of these platforms and I've talked to most of these salespeople and spoken to them on the phone and they've given me the down and dirty. So that way I can share that information with you. So at the end of this video, you will be able to understand and pick what platform is right for you at any given moment, depending on where you are in your journey. That is my goal and I am going to accomplish that goal with your assistance. Now, if at any point in this entire process you have a question leave it down below i love answering questions and some questions will turn into videos i can almost guarantee that at this point so without any further ado let's jump into my computer but before we jump into my computer i need to ask for one quick little favor just hit that, hit that little like button turn that thing blue i really appreciate that Oh, oh, you did it? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's jump into this. So right off the bat, we are going to be covering Podia, Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi, and a new platform that I've just recently found called Akadal. And I just happen to like them all. Honestly, there's really... There, these are the titans in the industry. I can't quite say that there is one that is just astronomically better but there are some major dirty details you need to know about these before you make any decisions and what are those details so it all happens in the pricing right this is they all pretty much do the exact same thing so we have online courses digital downloads memberships webinars email marketing messaging custom website and affiliate marketing right that is pretty much standard across all of these platforms it doesn't matter which platform you decide to use it is standard across all of them so we're pretty much comparing apples to apples right now there's nothing that any of these do that is earth shatteringly different now some of them may have some slight variations in there but for the most part you can do exactly the same things in every single one of them there is one little difference between all of these and there's one that stands out a little bit differently but it's also kind of a newer player to the game here so you can go through you'll be able to look at all of these and you're going to be able to see hey you know what what's the right solution for you you're going to be able to go through right flex your pricing options get the word out go global get paid so in theory they all pretty much do the exact same things there's really nothing in here that's like whoa so i'm going to just start jumping into pricing because i don't think that we are going to spend a lot of time that you're going to get value out of just going through all the features i think pricing is really where they're going to give those beautiful juicy breakdowns that i like because it just kind of gives you really good data here so let me just pull up all the pricing in here and i just want to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on all of these platforms now we're going to start with podia now podia was extremely attractive to me because i took an online course through it and i actually really liked the way it was laid out personally i thought it was a really really good layout now one of my favorite things about podia is you get it for 40 bucks a month that is huge now hear me out you might think that 40 dollars a month hey that's either a lot of money or hey that's a little bit of money but there's a couple there's just some things in there that you need to know about so first things first you're going to lose out on the cell memberships if you go with the 40 dollars a month version right course certifications affiliate marketing right so that way you can't get paid on it embedded uh, embedded checkout third party code you can't do any of those features and for the sake of this video we're actually going to be comparing their medium tiers because their beginner tiers are once again geared towards beginners i'm also going to give you guys my opinions on those beginner tiers because if you are you don't have a big community but you want to sell an online course i'll give you my thoughts and opinions on that as well but ultimately it's pretty great now here's the only catch with this is you get $20 a month for each additional teammate. So if you had a VA, if you had an employee with you, you are going to pay an extra $20 a month. Is that a lot of money? Not particularly, but just keep that in mind, right? So every employee that you have on your account, it's an extra $240 a year where the Earthquaker is five included. So 
you get the lovely price of $390 a year if you if you buy it all in one shot and you save $78 per year, $790 a year if it's uh, for $158, you save $158 a year, right? And then the Earthquaker, I'm not going to go with the premium tiers just because there's really not that much of a benefit in my opinion as opposed to you know, the lower tiers, I don't think that it's really that much of a difference. Now, the one thing I do want to address, and this is probably something that is going to blow your mind, or at least you need to keep paid attention to, is how many email recipients you get. So you get 5,000, 15,000, and 50,000. So because there's a cap, you will be paying more money if you continuously grow over time. Keep that in mind. Something very important for you to be aware of because most people don't ever talk about this. If you ever call their sales team, they kind of just slide that in right underneath and just, you know, they don't ask, don't tell. That's the kind of thing that they go with here. But other than that, I mean, you have unlimited email subscribers, right? You just have the, the monthly recipients. So while you can host unlimited email subscribers on Podia, these limits refer to the number of subscribers that can receive an uh, email in a given month. Need higher limits? Just contact us for custom pricing okay just i just want you to be aware so if you have five thousand people in there you can send them three emails throughout the month that's the only catch with that now if you have five thousand people in there you're probably doing pretty good and money's really not much of an option for you but i just want to let you guys know now on to teachable so you have your monthly which is forty dollars a month once again wow no shocker there and then you have your annual so in this case we're just going to go monthly because i'm a big fan of monthly payments i mean look save the money pay annually but not everybody this is not for everybody and i understand that you might want to test one out for a little while and then go test a different one out so in here you are going to have your basic and your pro once again we're going to be con comparing everything in pro so unlimited students no transaction fee which is quite nice you have your course product and now this is going to say hey you know what there's a uh, you have to go with some payment provider or payment acceptance so it's probably going to be stripe on here um where they have their own charge right it doesn't have to be stripe i'm just using that as an example you could use somebody else's if you get a better deal elsewhere now you have member only community which is quite nice instant payouts five admin level users priority products support graded quizzes which is quite nice advanced reports unbranded website which is also quite nice but most people keep the brand on there because you do get credit for it integrated affiliate marketing which is always quite nice course compliance which is huge this is one of the only ones that allows a course compliance in there so if you have to go through and you have to make somebody watch a certain amount of video content to get a certification maybe it's a state or local government certification this is exactly how you would do it right everything else is pretty much the same in here right there is no limits on your emails which is also quite nice most of the other areas or most of the other ones will charge you based on your email. So processing fees here. So if you choose to go through, it's 2.9%. So they're just saying that they're not taking any money from it. You still have to, once again, you're going to be using a platform like Stripe to do that, which is, that is how much you're going to be paying, right? You have free courses, you have paid courses, 0%, you know, transactions processed by the monthly payment get gateway for schools. Okay, that's for schools. Um, chargeback fees, you have uh, back office fees. You could go through, I do recommend reading all of these, but I just wanna cover the guts and the good stuff for here. So you get unlimited hosting, unlimited video bandwidth. This is also very important. Unlimited students, unlimited coaching, unlimited courses. That's huge. Now the crazy part is that's also in the basic plan, which a lot of people overlook you get unlimited courses in the basic plan now support email support you get live support when you pay a little more money you get admin level users you get two and five integrated uh payment processing right there it's just they say it's integrated because you don't have to send them to a third party that's really all it's doing right zapier integrations you're really getting the big bang for the buck here in the pro nothing too crazy graded quizzes once again kind of cool upsells that's pretty normal i don't believe podia offers an upsell in there and then you also have just your custom user roles, which is quite nice, but you don't have those custom user roles unless you're paying $250 for your business. Other than that, I don't believe that there is anything else as far as email marketing, integrated email marketing. I also don't believe you can send emails directly through Teachable by the masses. You can do some automated sequences, but you're not gonna be doing massive blast outs with teachable it actually usually comes from a third-party platform maybe it's mailchimp or another service such as that so just keep that in mind with teachable but that's also how they keep their price really really low so if you're using something like hubspot or you're using something which is free uh, to some degree you could be using mailchimp constant contact 
whatever it is for you that you choose to go through, this is what you would need to integrate to. So just keep in mind, it's not an expense in this software, it's just an additional expense through a different software. Just something that you need to know about if you're going to be going down this rabbit hole. The next one is gonna be Thinkific. Now this is one that I was strongly considering for me uh, to, to use, and there's a couple reasons why. You have a free test drive, so you get limited courses, unlimited students, quizzes and surveys, content hosting, instant access to your funds. So you can actually sell a bit through that feature, right? I think that's really where the massive benefit comes in with Thinkific. So you could build, test, adjust, modify, and I actually wish that everybody would go to this model where, hey, for zero dollars, yes, you do get a limit on how much you can upload and what you can do, but you can take as much time as you need to actually build it out, which I think is tremendously valuable, especially if you're starting from scratch. And this is where a lot of people seem to be like, hey, you know, they get sucked in, I'm going to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars a month, and I'm going to have this six-figure business. But then life gets in the way and then you get busy and now you're spending money day after day, month after month. This is where you got to be a little careful. And this is probably my most attractive feature that I think Thickific offers is the fact that you can do it for zero dollars and you can start this up. That's huge. And there's no time frame on how long you have. You could start with the free version. You could just sit in that free version until you're ready to pull the trigger with some serious students and money and you've kind of gotten everything else dialed in that's when you can in increase and upgrade to unlimited students uh, and courses coupons email students uh, all that good stuff right so email students email users one at a time bulk emailing is available with the growth package once again keep that in mind now the one thing that they don't tell you in here is when you go into the growth package and you start to get into the the more expensive areas of this i'm actually going to show you guys because i found this little trick talking to their salespeople. don't tell anybody but if you go to if i remember it's pricing growth yes so if you go into their growth area and it's probably the same for all of the other ones but if you have 100 students, it's $99 a month for your first 100. But once you break into that, it starts to go up. So you just got to be aware. So your $100 a month can easily get to $500 a month. Granted, look, you still need to have uh, about 4,000 students in there, which is a ton of students. But... This would not be a fair comparison if I didn't tell you that. So keep that in mind. That is something that I've heard creeps up on people. And this is per active student. So if you say, hey, you're going to have lifetime access to this, you're paying $0.10 cents per student up to $400 forever. This is where you can get a little rocky with it. And that's part of one or that's one of my main concerns with Thinkific. It looks super appetizing in the beginning because you have this zero dollar cost associated with it. And you're like, wow, this is amazing. Look at this, right? But then reality sets in. And you're like, whoa, it's kind of more expensive, right? So what do they call the other ones? They call uh, growth. Maybe it's pro. I'm just going to see what pro comes up as. Do they have a pro pricing thing? No, page not found. Okay. So that's kind of, this is their flagship option, right? But I just want to let you guys know that to, you know total max priced out at five hundred dollars a month. First one hundred students are free. So just keep that in mind. I think this is something really, really, really important that you need to know about because this is where you can start to get a little funky with how much it's going to cost. Now, once again, you're looking at if you have a thousand students, right? That's an extra hundred dollars. If every student is paying you a hundred dollars, I mean, you're doing pretty good for yourself, but just keep this in mind. If you're going to have this course open forever and you promise these students to have access forever at some point or another, you may start to really lose a lot of money. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, that's probably my biggest gripe with Thinkific. As great as that free option is, it does come back to bite you in the butt. And it actually tells you here. So all prices in US dollars plus 10 cents per active student. First 100 students are free. And I'm pretty sure that goes with every single plan. So for 50 bucks a month, you get your first 100 students for free. And then it's 10 cents per active student, which it's anybody that has access to that course afterwards. And this is where it can get a bit expensive. Just food for thought, do what you will with that information, but I felt it was very necessary to cover that. Other than that, I love the fact that you can have uh, 
all of this information, so randomized quiz banks, this huge prerequisite lessons, right? Required video completion, right? So they have to, it prevents them from skipping ahead, which I think is really, really valuable. Host storyline, uh, captivate more assignments, right? This is all pretty standard stuff in here. Um, all of this is for the most part, the exact same. You're gonna have your normal integrations. You're gonna have a Zapier integration. These are all normal features of all of these platforms. So just something for you to know, is the growth plan worth it? Yes, but you just got to be careful. Now you have the growth and the pro, right? You could just go through, see what the difference is. So beryllium exam integration. So if you want to use beryllium exams in here, is it really worth it? You get groups on the growth. You get uh, direct active campaign integrations, right? So it's going to be your CRM. You have direct infusion soft integrations, which is going to be your CRM. And then you don't even, you don't get the three Thinkific instances in here. So just be aware of that area, right? You can't move Thinkific branding on the pro feature. You can't white label unless you're on the premiere and then your course specific branding with the plus which is who knows how much money uh that is but just keep in mind that i felt like that is so incredibly important for people to know because a lot of people seem to just forget about that area and as appealing as thinkific is that could do a lot of damage if you're going to sell a low ticket course for high ticket i don't think it necessarily matters all that much but for a low ticket course where it's maybe it's ten dollars right and you're selling i don't know a thousand of them, right? You're talking about $10,000, but then every single month you're chipping away at your, your $10,000 of profit. So just keep that in mind. Now, the next one, Kajabi, this is probably the closest one that, to home to me. I do love this platform, although I think it's quite expensive for what you actually get on there. I think they, I wish they had a little bit more of a flexible tier um, personally, but you have your basic, your growth, and your pro. So we're, like I said, we're going to be going with their, their premium packages here of their growth plan. So monthly payments, it's $200 a month. Annual discount, it's $160 dollars a month so you save about forty dollars a month and that's about five hundred dollars per year off the top of my head so you have 15 products right so a product is going to be your course you have 15 pipelines which is going to be your funnels that you can actually build in here you get unlimited landing pages unlimited marketing emails 2500 contacts 10,000 active members one website 10 admin users Kajabi University, which is their training area, 0% transaction fees. That transaction fee, just like Thinkific, or better yet, Teachable, is just the money that they take. They don't take anything on there. Webinars and events, ready to use templates, assessments, uh, one customer success activation call, 24-7 uh, chat support, which is actually quite nice. Their chat support, although it does take a little bit long, is very good. They are probably, in my opinion, some of the most well-trained chat support there is. I, I think that they know exactly what they're doing. They are very dialed in. I have had so many conversations with chat support between my existing agency, with my old career in IT, and a variety of my other careers. Chat support's really important. Being able to talk to somebody is really, really, really important. Now, I think the things that make this really, really important is the advanced automations. I don't, I don't see the advanced automations in there. I just, it, that's probably my biggest gripe. I don't know if it's worth that money, but you have the ability to remove Kajabi branding and then the affiliate program on there. So if you have people that want to sell your products or your courses, that's where you would really thrive with the affiliate program. So if you have, you know, for example, my agency where a, we specialize in Wix and website development. If you are a Wix developer and you're like, Hey, I want to make some extra money. All right, you can go through our course, learn it, and then on top of that, you can then resell our course and make some money on that. So that's a feature that you would want to know about. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty dry, it's, it's really not the most juicy of a list, but that's okay. Honestly, I think it's really, really well worth it. 25,000 contacts, I haven't, I've seen some people get close to it, then you get 100,000 contacts. You can call and ask for more contacts if you needed them. I've never seen anybody hit the 100,000 contacts. I'm sure there are people out there, but, if you're hitting 100,000, or is it really 100,000 active? Or maybe it's probably a lot less. If you get 100,000 emails, you're probably looking at about 30 to 40% of them are actually engaged. So this is cool too. You get three websites, 10 admin users, 25 admin users. Admin users are really good. It could be a friend, girlfriend, family member, especially if you're starting. I think, it, I think an admin user, to have them be able to go in there and help you is tremendous. Although I really don't love the amount of restrictions that you could apply. I wish there was a little more customized. But that's my own personal take on that. Otherwise, the amount of functionality and features that you get in Kajabi is beautiful. I think it's well, well, well worth the money that you're going to spend, the $160 a month or the $200 a month that you're going to spend on it. 
If you want to check out Kajabi, I have a 14-day free link down below. Go check it out. It also does help the channel tremendously if you choose to do that. Other than that, I mean, it's it's a great platform. It's it's the but the thing that makes it the best, and I need to pause for a second. I gotta say, the thing that makes it the best is the Kajami community is incredible. Those people are dialed in. They know what they're doing. Everybody's willing to help. They're not trying to sell you anything. They genuinely, I've had so many coaching calls with other Kajabi people and never charge them a dollar because I'd rather see them succeed and say, hey, Harrison is the guy to go to when it comes to this, 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 this. And I am. I'm somewhat famous in that little Facebook group that they have. It's awesome. Definitely, definitely check that out. That is, in my opinion, what makes this the most valuable product out there. Now, one of the newcomers to the to the to the world here is a company called Akadel. Now, this is something that I am thinking about getting for myself because it is literally a lifetime uh, option. I'm going to show you guys how to get that. But once again, you get a lot of these. I've actually gone in here. It's a really great platform. I do have one gripe with it, which is the amount of storage that you can get. And that's part of the reason why I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I do shoot in 4K. 4K consumes data like it's going out of style. A, a 10 minute video in 4K is about 10 gigs. So I could upload five five 10 minute videos uh granted not everybody needs 4k videos on there but it's just i don't like downgrading that's just me but other than that the amount of functionality and feature that you get especially if you don't have a 4k camera and you have you're shooting either on your phone or you're shooting on maybe a gopro or just an older camera where you're shooting in 1080p definitely check this out i mean it's a simply a no-brainer so some of you may know what this this is your own smtp you have your pixel tracking quiz course uh, validity timer certificates uh live courses third party private notes public drip courses i mean everything that you could really ever want in here the big thing to me is the gamification how built out your profile is are you engaging with other people leaderboards who's thriving in that community i think that this company is still a little on the new side but with the amount of functionality and feature that you get in this is just next level amazing so now i'm not pitching you guys on anything but if this is something that you want as of july 11th i almost said 7th july 11th free slurpy day by the way uh 7 11 you can go check this out on app sumo now it's going to be closing in 38 hours from the moment that i'm recording this video so this video is going to be going up tomorrow so you really only have about 24 plus hours to get this now why am i telling you about this i'm a big fan of saving money you can go in here and you could buy a lifetime access to this entire platform right and you can choose how many codes you want so at the five code mark for 350 dollars, you get 50 gigs of storage 20 team members six academies and 3,000 users you get everything involved in this area right here the onboarding area which in my opinion is worth it if you want to go all out and you want to get a little crazy you go to the the top tier, 8,000 users, 16 academies, 100 gigs of storage, right? Gamification leaderboards, the whole nine, right? For $700. Now, why does that matter? I mean, if you're looking at the, if you're looking at that, you're going to seven, $790 a year, right? You save 158 bucks. So you pay it once, you own it forever, where some of these other platforms you are going to be paying in other ways. So I just want to let you guys know, and you'll get $10 off with the links down below. Once again, totally not a pitch. I actually have signed up for their account and started playing around with it. And I am shocked at how good it really is. So that is my breakdown of all of these. Now, which one should you go with? I'm gonna give you guys my insights, my thoughts right now, now that I've kind of covered it, right? If you're starting out and you have no community, nothing, and you're looking to just get your feet wet, hey, you know what, I just wanna build an online business, my personal recommendation, right off the bat, Thinkific. It is free, and then as you start to make, start to sell products, you start to figure out what you gotta do, right? You're gonna be bumped up to the $50 a month one. I don't think that that is a bad idea. I think that for the money, that is the best bang for your buck. Now, the second thing that I would go with is actually not teachable, although I do like teachable, but if you have a, if you already have a working kind of business, I would say Teachable is probably, Teachable and Kajabi are on the next level up. But if you're like, hey, you know what? I kind of have a little bit of an interaction with what I'm doing. I personally love Podia. I think it's a phenomenal platform. What you get, how much it costs, the the fifth, the, I'll go with the $40 one, and then you could bump it up to the $80 one. That to me is so 
worth it if you guys want to go check that out. For me, you know, if you're like, hey, you know what, I do have a bit of a following, this is the one I would honestly go with. Now, if you have a big following, right, you have a massive YouTube channel, you are looking to grow, you have money, and you, you I shouldn't say you have money, but you at least have attention, I would definitely go with either Thinkific, or, I'm sorry, not Thinkific, Teachable, or Kajabi. Personally, for me, if I had a 50, if I had 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I had a product to sell, like I knew, I know how to do Wix SEO, right? I would go with Kajabi. No questions asked. This is the platform you want to be on. It's just, it has pretty much everything, especially if you're like, hey, I need a brand new website. I really need an all in one solution. This is the platform to go with. No doubt about it. If you have that attention already, you would be foolish to go in any other direction. So check that out. Once again, there's a free 14 day link down below. And I think that I'm going to be, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, they're like doing like a crazy special right now. I'll just leave it at that. I'll probably put that link down below if I'm allowed to, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this yet. Like we literally got an email saying like, you're not supposed to tell anybody about this. So I'm just gonna keep it kind of vague. So if you made it this far, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys got some crazy value out of this. I hope I inspired you guys to either go take action or at least go check one of these out. If you were like, hey, this is not for me, that's totally cool too. But at least now you know what you should pick, right? This is personally my thoughts and opinions. I've gone through literally every single one of these. I've signed up for a free trial on every single one of these. I've spoken to sales in every single one of these, and I've had conversations with their support and interviewed other people that own these. So I've done a lot of research on this, way more than I'd like to admit for free. So learn from what I've just taught you. I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell, so that way you never miss another opportunity to help you grow your business. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.